Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games. Your on show yours. I think I'm going to go back to playing uh, the Orochino opening for today. If for no other reason, then I like a little bit of variety in what I'm doing. And so, last times I was playing Central File Rook. It didn't go so well, and I need to study it a bit further. Good luck. So, I want to take attention away from those and try to do something different here. Uh, it's not at all that I'm just setting traps and hoping to win based on tricky traps. No, that would be silly. Why would we do that? Interesting. So I am up one pawn already, but my opponent has put up resistance against um, the obvious. Oh, wow. I'm not feeling greedy enough to take a second pawn. That would be silly. It's more important that I keep this bishop under lock and key. Um, that's a smart move. Okay, I'm going to activate uh, my lance. Mm-hmm. And so this position might not be to everyone's liking. Uh, but it looks interesting to me. So I'm threatening the lance, and I'm threatening the king. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this looks fun. Oh, wow. That's, um, not even remotely close to what I expected here. I'm not sure. What I expected, that's definitely not it. Okay, the bishop is a huge target. Uh, arguably, my bishop's equally a target here. Uh, my opponent did exactly the thing I was planning on doing. Um... Okay, fine. I'll just promote my rook. It'll be fine. What are they going to do with the bishop? Yeah, they're playing not the worst moves. They're playing some clever moves. Um... Definitely tricky stuff. But I think as long as I am patient, I can prevail here.
七分。This is ugly. So they can drop their bishop, but or I'm sorry, they could even use their existing bishop. Um, I expected them to drop this, which is, I don't think is accurate. I'm guessing this is a chess player who is um, really good at tactics, but might not know everything about Shogi just yet. Okay. I hope I didn't miss any trivial combinations this game. I feel like I might have. There's a solid chance that I missed some easy winning move somewhere. Oh, I could take a gold? That's no good, though. Maybe I should have threatened the silver, but that doesn't look good either. The silver drop was super heavy. I thought I was winning with it, and I'm still paying the price for playing it. Um... Gofun. They're probably intending a rook drop here, but I can sidestep it. Well, no, actually I can, but it's not super smart too, so play this instead. They'll drop the rook down here. Um, and I'll hope that I can sack here, or I don't know. I could exchange rooks and then drop my rook again and threaten this. And that's a plan. Thanks for the game. They did play faster than me, and it did rattle me a bit. But uh, somehow I won it. Good luck. I might have... 
I always intend to suggest good luck to each opponent, but um, I keep seeming to forget to say it. That's not intentional. It's just perhaps a product of me, uh, I don't know, not having my full focus on my live stream. Um, I'll guard my center square. Oh, wait. Wait, this is interesting. No, 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 no. We're just gonna play a safe move. And not get involved in crazy, crazy stuff. Totally safe. Okay, I don't need to move any further than that, though. Well. Okay. This is fine. Um. This guy's actual performance is around 1Q. You mean they're not 6Q? I can't believe everything I read on the internet. Dang. That's unfortunate. I thought I could believe everything I just read on the internet. Um, yeah, I keep hesitating. I don't want to move my gold if I don't have to. And I think I can get away with not moving the gold to the left. I keep delaying that move. I also keep delaying moving the silver because I might want to move the rook over, and I don't know if using the silver is going to profit me in any way. Okay. That prompts me to play something aggressive. Before this, when, um, yeah, okay. This is fine. Before they got the situation where only the king defends the bishop, um, I was hesitating to open this file. But now that only the king defends the bishop, it's difficult for them to use uh, the bishop. And many tactics could result that somehow profit me at the end of the combination. So, yeah, that's my plan. Even if somehow I lose material here, it's fine. Not that I intend to, but, uh, you know, just in case the worst does happen, it's still okay. Actually, I could take this pawn and just shove this pawn down the file now. I don't need to do anything subtle here. But they could they could move up the silver to defend this. And so actually, yeah, that'd be kind of dumb, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Forward, forward, ever forward. Um, interesting. Wait, have I messed up? Have I messed up here? It's looking like I've messed up and am prone to tactics. Um, I 
What the hell? Most opponents can't exploit my mistakes this easily. But I guess today I made a lot of mistakes. Okay, fine. We'll do it this way then. So, I mentioned if I lose material, it's not the end of the world. I can't find a way to simultaneously activate the bishop, activate the silver, activate this gold, and not hang something. So, what we're doing is offering this bishop... Uh, oh, fuck. This is still losing more material. Incredible. Um, it's fine though. Like, sure, material's big, but there's more to the game than material. And sure, like, now they get both a bishop and a rook. I'm getting completely outplayed by a 6 cube. It's not even close. I'm just completely, completely blind to everything that's going on here. That said, I have a five general castle, so, like, it's okay. Yeah. I panicked and thought that I saw something, but what I thought I saw was obviously a mirage. Nanafun. Um. I'm not sure, though. Like, even if I'd retreated my bishop, then they push the fourth file pawn, I have to retreat my silver, then they attack on a diagonal, and then I have to do something else crafty. Um... My bishop's trapped. Um, how the how do they know the correct move to play in every position? Right, so my bishop is trapped. Um, so I'm going to go chase down this rook in the corner. And also limit the range of this bishop. I was trying to make this a case study about how losing a little bit of material is not a terrible thing. But then there was like that five move combination where I drop three pieces at once. Um, which the opponent had seen coming several moves in advance. <laughs> um, like, I'm mystified as to what's going on in this game. OK, 
Okay, this rook is completely dodged my attack and it activates along this file. Um, I cannot generate any attack, even with all of my pieces combined. I'll have to add another piece to the pyre in order to make some kind of attack. But then I walk into a Night Fork, which, again, they had seen coming in advance. Um, fine, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to sit back here and do nothing, I guess, because all of my attempts to generate an attack walk into some tactic that the opponent has already prepared. I have no pawn in hand. Yeah, I'm completely prone. Um, I attack this point and threaten to promote and then bring this promoted lance toward the castle. I might win this on time. If I had to guess why this opponent is not like one down or higher. Um, it's not due to lack of tactical vision. It's due to something else. And that something else can only be uh, something time related. Okay, they actually slipped up. Uh, or there's a tactic that I just don't understand. I have a pawn in hand now. I'll take a second pawn in hand. It's fine. Continue marching forward. They should just bring the rook back. Well, no, that I can drop a pawn and chase the rook. Uh, this is such... Okay. Go so it's just like I'm completely drunk and dumb, and I'm giving them a lot of credit. That's fair. I've watched one too many tirades, and now I myself am delivering a tirade instead of being objective. Um, well, yes, but I'm not rated 6Q. Also, I'm not sure if that's actually true that I would have found all this, but you, I'll take your word for it that I'm just not playing my best at the moment. Yeah, many opponents seem to fold like a paper cup, but not this one. So they have a knight attacking this, and a token attacking that. Um, I'm going to shut out this bishop, but now my castle folds. Um, because I don't have my gold protecting my castle. Right, and so they play... I'm checkmated here. Like, I would not find the checkmate. Do we understand that much, at least? This opponent went straight for it um, for something I could never find. Um...
Thanks for the game. Nicely played. No hesitation there. That would have taken me a minute or two to find. But anyway, two down, one to go. Good luck. Okay, I said I was going to play this to try to take my mind off of things. Um, I don't know how to play this. Hopefully that's not an issue. <laughs> Maybe I should just demote down to 2Q, because I don't know, like... Well, okay, here I'm playing something I don't know. It's a learning opportunity, but... Um... It just hurts a bit. Wait. Wait a second. How do they have two gold generals here? That's not supposed to happen. What the fuck? Um... I don't understand. Like, my opponent here is tactically resourceful, and yet seems to have walked into one hell of a thing. So I'm threatening silver takes promotes. Um, which I'm also threatening if silver takes... Okay. Wait, what? This is Space Invaders, man. Why are we doing this? Okay, my silver is in my way, so I'll exchange it. I could have dropped a pawn equally well to do something similar here, but I want to bring my rook in on this file. There, that's not a mate threat. Um,
7分。I don't want to drop a silver because that kills my attack.、Um... I'm so, so, so confused. My rook is prone. I offer this exchange. So I'm threatening to check and then promote my rook back here. I think they're forced to take this exchange and then let me drop the bishop and chase the king.、Uh, I don't think that's an option here. So、they're threatening to drop another pawn in front of the horse here.、Um. I'm annoyed that if I try to exchange generals, this horse is just going to take stuff. Maybe my king needs to run to the right side of the board here. But no, this horse covers that too. My attack is completely stopped by this horse. Or by my lack of skill. Or both. I could drop a pawn and promote the pawn, I guess. And if this gold moves diagonally forward, then that's not so safe for them.、Um, if they take here, I guess pawn drop. 
if they exchange, maybe I live. I didn't think I was alive here. Wait. No, they're threatening Silver Drop. That's the threat. Um, I didn't think it was alive here. How do I cope with this? Oh, I can't drop the pawn there. It's not legal. Um, fine, I guess I'll accept a little bit of material, even though, like, material gain is not my objective here. Not even remotely. Um, but I don't know what else I can try. Mm, this castle's not holding up at all. Everything I'm calculating is wrong. Um... This is... yeah. I just welcomed the opponent's attack. And did nothing to resist it. Um... I'm gonna imagine that I can run from their attack. And so I need to build an attack of my own. Uh, even legally, I cannot take this, um, whether or not it's a good idea. Like, at the moment that was pinned, I could not legally capture that. This check. That's good. Or well, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's good or not. What I do know is I'm down four minutes, and I have no idea what's going on. But I don't know if this is good. It looks scary. Nifun. Um, yeah, I can't just let that sit there, because then it takes here, and then they're going to attack on this point. Thanks for the game. I dropped the goal. Alright, so I was down four minutes and lost. Nicely played. Um, yeah, no, obviously playing an opening that I'm not familiar with, things can go south and did go south. Um, it's not to say that when I played third foul rook or central foul rook that I knew everything, just that I was able to bluff opponents out of playing the most aggressive continuations. But today we have some aggressive responses from opponents that obviously I am unprepared for. So uh, it shows a weakness in my play. Something I need to work on if I want to play the most aggressive lines in these systems that aren't static rook and such. So. It's one thing to say that Static Rook openings are complicated, and they are, especially in the most aggressive lines. But here I am playing Swinging Rook openings, well, in general. And those lose one move, moving the Rook. And then on top of that, um, I'm trying to play aggressively. And sometimes opponents don't just back off, sometimes they do fight back. It's I haven't seen this before, but some opponents do play that way. So I should prepare to face that too. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.